it's Caroline here from Aussie Cards and Crafts. Um, tonight what I'd like to show you is how to make a dome card. Uh, this was another one that people passed quite a few comments on when I did my Facebook Live last weekend um, to launch or to assist launch the uh, Christmas in July competition that we have running on our Facebook site at Aussie Cards and Crafts. So the one that I showed you then was this one here. Um, this was one that I did, I think, probably last year. Um, the original design uh, was done by um, Sam Calcott from Mixed Up Craft. And if you haven't actually had a chance to see any of her uh, uh, videos, please uh, check it out because she really is a very, very, very good uh, crafter. So I decided that I would do a tutorial on this one and show you how it's done. So what I did is I did a tutorial on this. Unfortunately, the camera didn't work. So I now have a lovely card, another dome card, which I really do like. Um, but I really would like to put, the, put a uh, video up of this one because I think it is quite a spectacular card. So I'm going to do another one for you and hopefully this time the video will work. So let's get started. Um, it is quite a simple card to do. I've got most of the, the elements that I need um, already done here. Um, I'll just go through the measurements with you. The card base is a six by six. Okay, so it's 12 inches along the long side, uh, scored at six inches, which gives you a six by six card it's a tent fold card so it sits like that um, and there is your card base on top of that you will need a piece of six by six of you can just put some plain paper on there if you want or some plain card um, the one that I have got here is actually a card and I think it's yeah it's got um, it's been embossed I put it through an embossing folder the other one was just a, a piece of card as well, but I'm going to use just this plain, um, looks like hessian um, there. So that will then go on top of your 6x6 six six card base. The next piece that you need is a piece that is 6 inches down here and 6.5 and inches there. Now this card could be made in any size, but when you're doing your dome, you just need the top part to be a half inch longer than what your actual base is. So this one is a six by six. So this one is six by six and a half. Okay. Along the uh, six and a half inch, you will score at um, half an inch and six inches. And they will actually be this part just here. Okay, so you'll see some other ones. Um, it's not only Sam that's put these ones up, but there's some other ones on there as well. And a lot of them actually go to the edge. But I actually like the one that, um, that Sam did do, and that's the one with the, the flat part on the side. So that's what I'm showing you today. Okay, um, the next piece that you need will be a piece that will fit in between those two score lines. Okay, so you've got a piece of six and a half wide so you've got a half inch there and a half inch there so that one is going to be five and a half inches across and six inches deep and that will just be st stuck on there and then there will be an aperture cut in there um i've cut out my uh, my merry christmas and my merry christmas is going to go uh in the aperture i've also cut out my acetate um, and I've put my, my uh, tape around the acetate so that that's all ready to go. Um, along the sides where we have got these here, I've actually um, continued on the, 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 the pattern. So they, once I've done it, um, they will stick on along these sides here and the pattern will continue over so that that will look really quite spectacular as well. Um, and around the aperture, I'm going to have a red, to match this, I'm going to have a red um, frame. I've also um, fussy cut some of the, the beautiful parts out of here. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with those yet, but I'm sure I'll use them in decoration. I might even um, 
put some uh, Wink of Stella on parts of it or might even do some other embellishments on those as well. Um, I'll see how I go. So let's get started. So don't forget you've got your, your card base, six, six, six inches, um, sorry, 12 inches, score at six inches to give, you, give us our six by six. The first thing that I would like to do is to actually stick this piece of card down on here because I do need it to be dry before I cut that aperture out. So to do that, I'm going to use glue. Um, this is just a general purpose glue, uh, craft glue. And just stick it, making sure it goes right into the corners. I don't want this coming off. Shouldn't take too long to dry, but it really is important that it is reasonably dry before you actually cut into it to cut your aperture out. So that really is the first part that I need to do. Of course, if you've got a patterned card, you don't even need to worry about covering it, but I don't. So I'm going to pop that there. And you can see it goes right up to those score lines there and that score line there. Okay, so love this paper. Absolutely love it. Uh, when I was in England, I just loved my little Robin Redbreasts. So I fell in love with this when I saw it. So I'll leave that to one side just to dry. What I now need to do is I need to make a frame to go around the aperture that I'm going to cut. So to do that, I am going to use two round or two circle dies. Now, I don't have a name for these dies. Um, I got these a long, long time ago. Um, but you need, obviously, if you're going to do a frame, you need the two corresponding sides, uh, sizes. The first, or the, the aperture size, is going to be four and three quarters. And if you then take your next die up, that will then give you a, the frame. Just run this one through the machine. Okay, the other reason I use tape is if it hasn't actually quite cut out, which as you can see this one has, um, if it hasn't quite cut out, uh, you can put it back again and it's still in the same spot. I just take my washi tape off. My brother, uh, my older brother, was watching one of my tutorials today and he messaged me and he said, what's washi tape? And I said, it's a low-tack tape. So any low-tack tape will do. I tend to keep all my low-tack tape and if you could see my machine over there, it's got it all over it. Okay, I'll just pop these away. I don't need... Oh, yes, I do. I need the smaller one of these. So... I'll leave that one out. I'll put the bigger one away. So. So that's the one that I need. There is my frame. And that can go in my scraps pile, as can that, because I don't need that. So now what I need to do is I need to cut the aperture. Now, this should just about be dry enough. So what I need to do is I need to centre this, or to put it where I, I would like it, um, and I think I'm going to centre it. You can have it up the top further if you want, if you wanted a sentiment down here. But because my sentiment is going to go actually behind the acetate just there, I've decided that I'm I'm going to uh, just center it today. So once again, using my washi tape, by the way, if ever you find that the, the low tack tape has still got too much, just put it on the back of your hand because it doesn't need to be really really tacky it just needs to hold it that's the whole um, reason that we use it so you quite often will see me putting it on my hand to take some of that uh, that tackiness away okay yep I'm pretty happy with that so I'll pop that through the machine I'm going to
might put that one through again you can see it's oh no it is through it is through there we go so once again take my tape off very carefully And let's again put that one back in. And there we have our aperture just there. I'll keep that because I can probably use that for something else um, around Christmas, even if I just fussy cut that out. Right. Next, I want to stick that onto my card base. So don't forget, you've got it that way. You can see this. Okay, while that's drying, um, what I need to do here is to burnish, because this is, we've got those um, two score lines down there, I need to be able to burnish those upwards so I'll grab my, my tool there we go and make sure oops, this wasn't quite what I wanted there we go when I decided to use this paper I thought oh I love the little robin red breast but then I realized that my little robin red breast unfortunately was going to be cut out that's why I I fussy cut some of the other papers okay so from there just use your fingers to actually put like break not really break the surface but just start to let it get into the dome shape okay it's pretty easy just mold it with your fingers pop it over that way and you'll see that I have now got my acetate here I've got the tape around the, um, oh, before I do that, what I will do is pop the my frame on. Okay, so I cut that one out before, as you know, you saw me. Um, there we go. Now, if I turn that over, by the way, you don't necessarily need to put acetate through here. Uh, or behind here you can actually have your card sitting like so um, without um, let me pop this in you could actually have that sitting like so without the acetate over I just think the acetate makes it look a bit nicer so with this one you just take off your backing of your tape Don't ever use thick tape on this one because you don't want it to come over the the edges. You don't want it to be too wide um, to show through that aperture. Oops, wrong way. Just that in there like so and if you turn it over there we go you've now got your window and keep just popping it along because that will forces right. next what I want to do is I want to put one side only down Okay, so I'm just going to attach this side to there and then I can open it up and be able to position that where I want it. So to do that, you've, you've already burnished this. You need to put some glue on there and it's best to do these just one side at a time anyway because you actually have got some, um, some tension in there um, because it's actually going to be domed. Making sure your card is correct, because don't forget it's six by six. 
and you bring that right to the edge okay and that should because they're both the same size that should match up perfectly okay and then we can fold that back just for the time being and now what we need to do is to position our Merry Christmas okay now this one's going to be a little bit fiddly to put down because as you can see this is very fine so once again i'm going to use one a, a glue with an applicator on it uh, this says it's a, a pen and brush it's not actually a brush it, it's a um it's a foam applicator and it's one that i actually i like this glue it's very 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 sticky um don't ever make the mistake of uh, letting it topple over because it really is an awful job to fix it now to get this in the right spot that doesn't look too bad actually There we go i'm pretty happy with that now while we've been doing that obviously the um this side has stuck down so we need to now stick this side down and you will need to hold this just for a few i don't know 10 15 20 seconds and you make sure that everything lines up okay so everything is square and then just hold it okay that's coming together really nicely next part is i need to continue and when I cut this out, I was very particular in not just going to the, the side of the page to cut it out. I cut my um, six and a half inches by six inches, and then I cut half an inch off that side and half an inch off that side. And that enables me to have the pattern flowing onto the side part. So with this part, you can see there's a bell there. There's the, the continuation of the bell on the flat part on the side. There's a poinsettia there up the top, and then there's the bells there. So I just think that really makes it quite nice. So I'll stick those on. You might just see a little bit of white through where the, the fold line is, um, but that's quite all right. Okay, so that's the basis of it. Now, um, just a little bit of decoration, really. And... I'm not sure how much I'm going to put on, but I do like my little Robin Redbreast, so I think I might have him there, and I might have the bells coming down there and cut the top of that off. In fact, I might have him coming up. Let me have a little look. Yeah, I think I'll have him coming up like that, and him coming down, then those coming down like so. And then I'll just cut the, the difference off. So just bear with me and I'll glue these on. Okay. So I'm just going to wait for those to dry. And when they do dry, what I'm going to do is get my scissors. And I'll turn it over this way. And... I will cut off <laughs> there we go I'll actually cut off the excess 
Always do it from the back, okay, because you can actually see what you're doing. So take that away. I'll let him, I'll leave that kind of sitting up a little bit because I think it gives it a little bit more dimension. And with this one, I will take that like so. And there you have it. There is my dome card, my second attempt at the dome card. I'll just clean that up a little bit okay my second attempt tonight at the dome card um i like both of them obviously i really did like that one as well but unfortunately it wasn't recording properly but you can see by by doing the two of them they are they're very different oh i have a, I have a picture there um they're very different same style but out of but, but very different so there's that one and of course then there's the um the original one that i did Oh, so long ago I used to teach that one actually at our local craft store so um yeah there we go that's the the dome the dome card um can't wait to see what you uh, what you come up with and what styles you come up with on the um the Facebook site with the competition with as I said we've got some incredible um entries in uh it's absolutely fantastic to see there's crafters of all levels on there so please pop your work up we really really want to see it everybody is so encouraging and so helpful um thanks for watching tonight um i hope you've enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you have if you're not a member of our facebook site please go on there and just put a request in and you will be accepted that won't be a problem and of course um i think coming up september i'm hoping for september we will be launching our aussie cards and crafts um uh, online store that will link to these tutorials as well so it's it's softly softly slowly slowly but um we're getting there with it so but we've got some lovely people and uh, we love sharing our designs with you thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye